Good morning to you, my friends. I'm Cork, and this is Wobble Dogs. And today, maybe we'll get something new. I was working very, very hard off camera on getting some new dogs that are ripe and ready to get wings. Now, I don't know if this is even gonna work, but I've got right here this little dude, Mint. He has his gut absolutely loaded with this stuff and a couple Peptocoli Plus. Now, before we get to the second dog, I need to tell you, oh yeah, look at this house. Look at how, that's really hard to look at, isn't it? It's all like, well, I don't understand why it's like that, but it's just like, ugh. We're gonna look the opposite direction. I need to tell you guys a story, and it's a bit of a sad story. The story of Misha. Misha the dog. Now, I was feeding Misha some onion rings to try and expedite the growth of wings. Changed her color a little bit, as you guys saw, which is unfortunate, but a random mutation occurred. That one was very disappointing to me. Did I just hear an egg? Egg? I heard egg. I've got lots of eggs. Wait, was that a deviled egg? It was a deviled egg. I got confused. Oh, hi. Oh, it's a toy capsule. I see. Okay. Never mind. You guys are good. Anyways, back to Misha. A random mutation occurred. It was not of my doing. I did nothing. It was just random and very unfortunate because this is Misha now. <laughs> my poor dog. Look at how thick it is. <laughs> poor Misha. My poor puppo. Look what they've done to you. <laughs> She can barely walk at this point, guys. Let me show you. She can, she she has a rough time. Holy moly, that fills up the entire frame. She's a very wobbly wobble dog. <laughs> oh no, her huge tail. And the fact that she's 15 miles tall. Oh, poor Misha. But you're still a good doggo. So you're gonna be stored right now. I'm gonna make a new Misha. Eventually, hopefully, <gasps> there's an egg. Good. Could you guys stop fighting? Okay, now on to the second doggo that I have right here. Bird. You remember Bird? His gut is absolutely loaded with the same stuff. So what I'm thinking is if maybe we take Mint and Bird and squish them together a little bit, maybe we'll get a bird? So here's what we're going to do. Putting everybody away. Where's Meatball? There you are, Meatball. So I just had a whole bunch of test subjects, really. <laughs> just feeding them bunches of stuff to see what it does. Didn't really discover anything. But look at all these unfertilized eggs. That's another thing I was doing. When they get old enough, they, they lay eggs. So this is going to be good. Mint and bird. Please, please, please give me some wings. I don't even know if this is going to work. Because as it says... It says tiny wings, which means that it may just make the wings of a dog that already has wings smaller. I have discussed this with some of my viewers, and they kind of feel the same way. Uh, but we'll find out right now. Are you sure you'd like? Yes, I will do this. Regardless of what happens, this is what's going on. Please. Massive litter. I don't see any wings. <laughs> Okay, well, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna roll with it. We're gonna make the stability go down and get as crazy as we can. Here we go. Green and yellow. <sighs> okay, so my suspicions are confirmed. It just means it makes wings that already exist smaller. Which is a real bummer. I don't know how to get wings in the first place. Is it just a random mutation? It might be just a random mutation, guys. I don't know what to tell you. We've got a kind of fancy glossy gold sheen going on here. I kind of like that. Let's let's stick on this line. Let's get some gold puppos. Tiny litter. I got one. Uh-oh. What do I do? I can't do any more. Oh no. Wait, I can't do any more. Well, I guess it's a new color. <laughs> uh, and we got tiny litter, which is an achievement. 
which I haven't done before. It's not all bad, guys. Please give me something really good. Is it just an egg? I got a dog egg. Well, I, uh, you know what? That's kind of nice. It means that basically I got this dog for free. Let's incubate it. Why not? And you know what else I'm gonna do? Whoopsie. I'm gonna clean up this mess because there's way too much stuff in here. It's becoming a jungle. And now my dog is ready to hatch. He's kind of cute. What should his name be? I've seen all these names before. Miss Biscuit is new. Stubbs, Sophie, Spud, Bagel, Barkus, no, Noodle. That's the one for you, buddy, you're Noodle. You like being pet? What do you like to do? He's social, he likes to be with other dogs. That's great, it's kind of sad for you because there are no other dogs. I'm very close to the breed 10 dogs objective. So what we're gonna do is take Mud here and Misha? I don't really want Misha in her current form. So what we're gonna do is take, not Crouton, maybe Crouton, yeah, Crouton. And we're gonna get another doggo, hopefully with a swoopy tail, and I won't destroy them this time. <laughs> All right, here we go. Whoa, that's kind of cool. You got camo going on. Okay, we're going with you and... Uh, you, because I like the darker color. I don't want orange. Okay, okay, okay. You've got a weird howl. I like that. Um, let's go with these two. We've got the big old tail. And we've got some darker colors. Nice. Okay, we're gonna go with this. And then this. To hopefully get rid of the green. Because I don't know about green. <laughs> Massive litter. Whoa, look at all these doggos to choose from. I like the spots. That's kind of cool. Should we go further or should we take one of these dogs? I really like this dog right here. I really like them. I think I want this dog. This is the dog for me. Come here. You are my doggo. And this doggo is going to be the first one that I actually name all by myself. Because I've come up with a great name. Noodle, you've been clearing some rubble. And you found another hot dog. Congratulations, it is now yours. We could feed Noodle some exciting foods. What could we do? Let's see, what's this do? Oh, um, we can ignore the fact that that is discovered. <laughs> Uh, let's just, uh, <laughs> ooh, let's just gloss over that one. Big tail. Maybe I should feed pancakes to my new dog. Get a bigger, even fluffier tail. Big tail. What's this? Long snout, tiny horns? I didn't know my dogs could have horns. Man, I really should read these more. Let's see what this achievement got me. Simulated wall. I have the full simulated set now. Does that do anything? Ooh, it might. There are some uh, achievements for decorating with matching wallpapers. I haven't discovered these yet. The ones from the cocoon. Maybe I should work on that. We're gonna hatch this dog now. Look at them. I've got the name for you. Musha. Misha's sister, Musha. This is great. Hello, Musha. And you know what you get to do? You get to inherit. Misha's old room. Uh, uh, uh. Right over this way. To your new paradise. With a brand new house. Musha, how do you feel about that? Do you like being pet? Good. What do you like? High energy. Good. Aloof. Food averse. Oh, that's kind of disappointing. So Pancake does that and that. Flat body, big tail. I kind of don't want flat body. But big tail's kind of cool. What are these? Big tail, big nose. That's better. Ham-like body? What? Ham-like body. A cluster of goopy organisms that honestly looks kind of gross. What? Ham-like? I need to know what that means. Why don't I ever read anything, guys? What's wrong with me? Okay, noodle? I kind of feel bad for doing this, but you're gonna get a ham-like body 
and probably a droopy face. I'll tell you what guys, it's getting harder and harder to make entertaining content for this game. Because I record in bursts of like 40 minutes on this game. And then I hopefully get like a 20 minute episode or 10 to 20 minute episode. But 40 minutes just isn't enough time for much stuff to happen anymore. Like at the beginning, things were happening left and right. But now, it's really slow. And I'm sorry if these episodes aren't as entertaining. I'm really trying. But honestly, I'm doing as much as I can. Musha, time for food. This way. What are we eating today? Garlic bread? That's a great choice, <laughs> Musha. Nothing yet. Okay. You still are a normal dog for now, Noodle. Hopefully that will change. And I stole the cocoon. So basically what happens is when the cocoon falls from the roof, I just grab it and whoof, throw it away. And right now I'm going to put it in the science room and start collecting cocoons for scientific purposes. All right, well, as I said, things are slowly occurring now, much more slowly. Noodle likes the playroom, that's great. That's fine, Noodle, you enjoy the playroom. I'm gonna have to try and figure some things out for the next episode, because I try to set things up to uh, have something to do, and I had, but it all just kind of happened so quickly, <laughs> and there was just nothing left, so we'll try and get some more entertaining stuff for next time, but until then, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this episode of Wobble Dogs. If you did, leave a like, and if you haven't already and you would like to, subscribe to see more Wobble Dogs and all the other things I post right here on this channel. And as always, guys, in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.